We're a smart bunch here in Arlington, and we may be named the top intelligent community in the world for 2015. We'll tell you about that later in our program, but first, have you noticed the water tasting a little differently lately? No, you're not going crazy, it actually does. Each year, the Washington Aqueduct temporarily changes the water disinfectant it uses to clean the pipes and maintain high water quality for customers. It will revert to the regular disinfectant on May the 4th. No more searching for coins with Easy Park. And you don't need a credit card either to park at Arlington's metered parking spaces. Instead, you buy an Easy Park device and add money to it. You can do this online on the Easy Park site or in person at the Treasurer's Office at Courthouse Plaza. Residents weighed in on priorities at recent budget and tax rate hearings on the 2016 budget. Be sure to watch the April edition of County Board Wrap Up as Chair Mary Hines will discuss the Board's budget and tax decisions. You can review the proposed 2016 budget online at budget.arlingtonva.us. Arlington Smart Planning and Smart Growth has earned it a spot among the top seven finalists in the Intelligent Community Forum. Take a look. The Intelligent Community Award is actually given by an organization called the Intelligent Community Forum in New York. Uh, there was a group of uh, people who founded this uh, uh, going back uh, 15 years and uh, essentially it started with people who were in telecommunications, satellite communications and they started this out basically in terms of satellite communications and broadband systems but then they joined up uh, with this gentleman from Canada who was a urban planner and basically expanded the scope of what they were doing to look at cities that were using broadband communications in innovative ways and from that they really started to look at what are all aspects of urban planning. Its purpose is to study how communities, and by that I mean cities, counties, regions, use information and communications technology, broadband and IT, not just to make the streets you know, run better or to measure our water or do the other things that smart cities do, but to actually build economic prosperity, to solve long-standing social problems, to enrich their cultures, because you can either in this world we're living in allow those new technologies to run over you or you can adapt to them and prosper. And when you recognize that we're competing with over 300 communities around the uh, world and the fact that uh, we have now reached twice the top seven, that's very impressive. So uh, it's uh, very uh, significant that uh, uh, we are competing against only three cities in the United States and that uh, we have been selected uh, to be uh, the top uh, three in the United States in terms of information technology and services and applications. To learn more about the Intelligent Community Forum, go to their website at intelligentcommunity.org. We'll find out if we won in June, but even if we don't, it's an honor to be nominated and share top billing with only seven other communities in the world. The Arlington Partnership for Affordable Housing broke ground for construction on the Springs Apartments, which will add 98 new units to Arlington's affordable housing stock. Arlington has seen a dramatic decrease in the amount of affordable housing in recent years, the Affordable Housing Study and Draft Master Plan will provide a framework for increasing affordable housing options for residents. Community review of the plan is continuing throughout the spring. To learn more about affordable housing options in Arlington, check our website at arlingtonva.us and search housing. The affordable housing in Courthouse are classified as historic resources and they will continue to be affordable even after the new development there. Planning has begun for an office building, public plaza, ground floor retail and underground parking at the intersections of Courthouse Road, Wilson Boulevard and Clarendon Boulevard. The site currently houses a Wendy's and a Wells Fargo bank. The planned redevelopment will preserve the Wakefield Manor and Courthouse Manor apartments, which will continue as market rate affordable units. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around Arlington.